Hello, I'm going to show you now how to make your profile within the Evolve Training Moodle site. So here you can see I'm, there's the URL at the top here. Uh, I'm in the training site for Evolve as part of the Erasmus Plus program. And at the moment, if I look to the right hand side, the top right hand side, I'm not logged into the site. So there's a limit to what I can see. So I'm going to start by logging in. Now, when I log in, you can see that I've at the, again at the top right hand side, you can see that I have set up a profile on this site. And I'm going to show you how to set up your profile. By default, once you log in, you should see your name appear, um, but this image has to be added by you. So if I click on the image, I open a new set of choices and I choose profile. If I scroll down a little bit here, you can see under user details, I now have a link to say edit profile. Now, when I click on this, I have lots of things I could edit, but the only two things I want you to edit are here. The description of yourself. Now, I've done a very short one here, but this is a basic text editor, so you can type directly into here. Um, you can also choose words and insert a link against them if you wish to, and make that link open in a new window, for example. Just paste your URL in there and click create link. Also, you can add an image or you can even add a video or an audio recording. This little arrow here at the left hand side just tells us that there are some buttons hidden. So if I click that, I've got some additional buttons. Um, so that includes editing the HTML if you need to, if you want to make a really fancy profile, perhaps, and you know how to do that. Um, it also includes the formatting around the text here. So I can choose just how big or small I want the text to be. So that's where you can write a short profile about yourself as part of the site, just to make sure that other people on the site and in the same course as you um, can get to know you. This part, you, the user picture is actually more important than we might think. One of the factors of success to Facebook has been proven by research to be the fact that we saw faces. Now, having a user picture has quite an important psychological impact on others. It sends a message about you. You don't have to use a photo. You can use any avatar that you feel represents or communicates something about you to other people on the course. And doing that well will mean you make some quick and good connections within the course. In order to add a picture, you're just going to use this area here, new picture. You can drag and drop a file here. Um, I would recommend that you compress your picture, your picture um, so that you're not uploading something that is huge. So if you've taken a photo on a mobile phone, for example, that will is, is likely to be um, very uh, high resolution. So you might want to compress it. There are lots of online tools you can use, such as um, tiny.png tiny to compress an image to make it smaller um, and make it easier for the virtual learning environment to handle. So you can select your picture. You can have a number of pictures if you like. And once you've done both your profile and your picture, scroll down and click update profile to make sure you save it. So those are a few tips on making your profile within this environment.